Uh, 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 uh. It has recently come to my attention by Tails155 himself that, or I should say Terusu155 here on YouTube, that this level is indeed beatable. This level titled Oh and Finally. Uh, I didn't notice something in my recording, but then after uh, he mentioned it and then I looked over the recording, it was indeed there. Way on this bottom floor here, this bottom layer, this grassy layer here, whatever you want to call it, uh, with all these chucks, there is a decapitated golden wiggler head over um, here. I seen it, there it is, right there. Um, I don't know why I didn't notice it, but it was there, and I didn't notice it, so this level is indeed beatable. And let's just kill these safely, just like so, <laughs> like this, yeah, it's the safely. What the, what the heck? You can pick these things up? These are like blue blocks? Then this, then I could just do one of these dealios. <laughs> well, if I would have known that, oh shoot, don't kill me. You, go this, go that way. Yeah, there we go. And now I, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you, go that way. And now I shall throw you a block, which will kill you. Okay. Uh, and yeah, this is the thing that I missed. It showed up in the recording, and it's just like the question mark bubble that when you uh, grab it, it ends the stage. Just like so. Where the heck is the text? <laughs> Uh, and yeah, if I would let those chucks go off to that side, I know they can break both um, yellow and blue blocks there, so I didn't bother to uh, li let any live to destroy that part over there. Let's see where home takes me here. Um, oh, it, it, he incorporated the um, special 100% palette dealio thingy, whatever you want to call it, when you 100% Super Mario World. <clears throat> I don't think it would change the stages palettes. Um, I, I might check it off camera, but I don't think it will. At least, uh, not that I would expect if it if it keeps the original game's um, programming, so to speak. Because I don't think the in-game levels changed at all. It's just the map here uh, on the original game. In in terms of color palettes, I should say. Uh, and we're back over here. Okay, there's one thing that uh, he also mentioned. Oops, oh, it's right here. It's called Uneventful Isle. Um, he said that if you somehow die on here, after you get the midpoint, the midpoint puts you further back than the start. So, I'm just gonna fast forward here. Oh, I got the midpoint there. I'm gonna fast forward the time here. You see, I don't, I don't feel like waiting around here. I don't know of any other way to die on this stage other than to uh, kill yourself by time death, um, time running out. Any day now, it, it takes forever even if you're just pressing the fast forward button. And Mario died. Okay, where does the midpoint take me? Where does the midpoint take me? Uh, the, the fast forward. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot to notice the palette here. I guess that did that change before? I didn't notice that either. Oh, by the way, WNTD, I didn't know what that stood for before, but it stands for what not to do, which makes sense. Okay, I got the midpoint. Let's go back to the stage. Where does it take me? Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the start is around here, uh, but the midpoint is right there. <laughs> Wow, that's a <laughs> that is a long uneventful island for sure. So yeah, the midpoint takes you back to even further from the start, which is kind of funny in its own way. So yeah, I just thought I'd do this extra bonus video here for the sake of completion, and uh, I'm just gonna do one of these dealios here. Uh, escape, reset, yeah, just to see if it if it takes my uh, stage total up to 20. Um, let's just see. No, it stayed at 19. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's because I, um, uh, maybe I, I didn't get a hard RAM save or something like that, but it still stayed at 19, the uh, exit list here. So, uh, I guess that's it for this walkthrough for good this time. I thought it was for good last time, but there was some loose ends I had to clear up thanks to Tails himself there on his hack. His hack is truly awesome. It's funny, it looks awesome. Um, I don't know, I just can't give it enough compliments, really. I've complimented enough through all my parts. Uh, you've seen that for yourself. 
All right, see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this bonus feature video thingy. Bye. Wait! I was too curious to let this go. Yeah, if you get a RAM save and then reload your save file or reset the game, it does indeed turn to 20. Okay, see you guys later. Wait once more! Yeah, I kind of forgot about something here also. Um, if you remember on like part four, when I did a stage titled More Than One Way, I only went one way. I went to the left, but I forgot to go to the right. Well, that just completely defeats the purpose of the whole stage, doesn't it? So um, now I gotta kinda do that as another loose end. So let's do it more than one way. There's a charging chuck there, but I'm not gonna pay him much mind. But this one I will because I gotta read this message box, which says, whoa, which doesn't say Yoshi. I was gonna say which says Yoshi, but uh, because that's because I was thinking of Yoshi. Hey, you come back over here, so I can kill you. There we go. And what's it say? Make sure to use multiple types of enemies. Yes, indeedy, because if you use only the same kind of enemy, well, it's gonna be pretty. <laughs> pretty predictable. That was like the worst jump I ever did in the history of ever. Maybe. Well, there's a midway point anyway in case I die, but I don't think I'm gonna die. Or at least I hope I won't. And I'm pretty sure the end's actually near on here. Sliding through the spinies down the slope and you still gotta love the aesthetics of Tails' levels here. Absolutely awesome. And there's the end. <laughs> yeah, I told you that was short. And so I guess that now officially concludes this walkthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.